standards of inequality in attaining the goal of poverty reduction and achievement of SDG, the SDG on poverty. It is important that steps are taken to address this since it will negatively affect our country's poverty reduction efforts. The central finding of the report is not only that inequality remains relatively high and has been rising, but the Ghana's inequality story is changing. The highest levels of inequality are now found within, the specific, within specific regions. The highest level of inequality in 2013 was found within the Upper West region, which has also seen the greatest increase in inequality since the 1990s. The report suggests that national policy needs to recognize this issue and address effectively why the poorest people in these regions are not experiencing high growth as other groups. The other major finding relates to the extent to which the poor are benefiting from economic growth. Given that poverty has been reduced, it is not surprising that we find that all groups have benefited to some extent from growth since the 1990s. Since 2006 alone, the poorest group have seen consumption levels rise to around 40% less than the average rich group. The wealthiest, that's 10% of the population, now consume a third of the national. One major strategy the government has adopted in addressing inequality is dealing with social, with social protection within the Ministry of Gender children and social protection. The current system of social protection in Ghana has the potential to have significant impacts on incomes, equitable development, and increased access to social services for the extreme, poor, and vulnerable. Mainstreaming social protection into sector and district planning and local economic developments, strengthening monitoring and building relevant capacity at all levels will ensure and facilitate sustainable delivery. Social protection not only allows individuals and households to cover their basic needs, but enables them to make further investments that may safeguard against future shocks. Individuals may invest in livestock and other productive assets. They may also take better health care measures and be able to afford better nutrition and proper medical care. It may also enable young people and children to attend school either because they can afford to pay for school fees or because the additional income allows them to work less. By building human capital, individuals become less vulnerable and more financially stable in the long term. Sustainable livelihoods help to break the intergenerational cycle of poverty. The ministry's social protection interventions addresses income, consumption, health education, and livelihood needs of the extremely poor and vulnerable.